If you're new to GenStat, you're probably wondering, where do I begin? If you haven't already done so, I'd recommend taking a look at the GenStat knowledge base. Here you can access help topics such as how to get started and how to use GenStat spreadsheets. There's a printable four-page quick start guide to help you get up and running in GenStat quickly. This walks you through opening your first data set, creating a graph, running a statistical analysis, and sharing your results. There's also a library of videos which we're constantly adding to that will walk you step by step through different tasks and analyses. In GenStat itself, you can click Help GenStat Guides. These guides explain how to use GenStat to perform analysis of variance, Reml, QTL analysis, and so on. I recommend you read this Introduction to GenStat guide as it's a course book for beginners containing step-by-step -step lessons for using the software. I'm now going to introduce you to some of the example datasets. At this point, I would encourage you to follow my actions using your own copy of GenStat. Select File, Open Example Datasets. Here, you can find a variety of datasets that cover many fields such as statistics, medicine, agriculture, and biology. Click the Filter by Topic drop-down list to search for example data sets suited to a specific type of analysis. When you select a topic in the list, the data sets related to that topic are displayed. Select Introduction to GenStat for Windows. The Introduction to GenStat guide, which I showed you earlier, uses these data sets in its tutorials. To find a particular data set, type the name into the search field. Type iron.gsh. This highlights the iron.gsh file at the bottom of the window. The description tells you what is in the data set, which in this case is an analysis of soil samples. Double-click the file to open it. Here we have a four-column spreadsheet. The FE column records the parts per million of iron in each soil sample, and the weight column records the sample weights. These two columns are numeric variables. In GenStat, we call these variates. These other two columns contain categorical data. In GenStat, categorical data are called factors, and you can identify them in the spreadsheet by the pink background and exclamation mark. Site refers to the laboratory that carried out the analysis, and Sample refers to the sample that was given to the laboratory to analyze. Hover the mouse over the Site column name. The tooltip shows you how many levels or categories this factor column contains. Do the same thing with the FE column, and you'll see a selection of summary statistics, the minimum and maximum values, and the mean. At the bottom left of the screen, you'll see two tabs, Data and Window. Click the Data tab, then move up and double-click the All Data folder. Here we can see the same four sets of information as shown in the spreadsheet. Here are our two factor columns, identified by red exclamation marks, and here are our two variates, each identified with a blue V. The Data tab shows you all the data you've loaded into GenStat. So if I open another spreadsheet, then click the All Data folder again, the columns from my new spreadsheet will also appear here. Move down to the Window tab and click Once. The Window tab keeps track of all your open spreadsheets and other windows. When I open another window, such as the Summary Statistics window, you'll see it appear on the Window tab. If I click on the background, all my windows disappear, but I can bring them to the front by clicking each one in the Window tab. When I close a spreadsheet, the window disappears from the Window tab, but the spreadsheet data stays in memory, as you can see in the Data tab. Now let me bring your attention to the Summary Statistics window. You can see that there's some data in this field. These are the four variates that are sitting in the data folder over here. The summary statistics window automatically picks these up from memory. Watch what happens when I put the cursor into the by groups field. Now this field is showing the factors, the categorical data that are sitting in the data folder. 
When you move the cursor between fields, GenStat ensures that you can only select the correct data type. And speaking of data, I'm going to clear the data that I won't be using from the memory. I only want to keep the four columns from the iron.gsh spreadsheet, so I'll select these other data, right-click, and select Delete. And you can see that they've disappeared from the summary statistics window too, so I can't accidentally select them. So let's go ahead and get some summary statistics from our data. I'll move FE into the variates field. Then, when I move the cursor to By Groups, my factors become available here. I'll select Site, and because I'd like to see a visual summary of the data, I'll select Box Plot down here. Now go ahead and click Run. In the Graphics Viewer, we have six box plots, one for each site. I can resize the box plots by clicking and dragging the mouse. If I click outside the Graphics window, it disappears, but I can bring it to the front again by clicking the Graphics button. In the Output window, we've got summary statistics for the FE variant, grouped by the site where the measurements were taken. The Output window is where you'll see the results of your analyses. You can save the output to a file, or print it out. If you can't see the output, because it's hiding behind another window, you'll find it on the Window tab. To bring the output back to the front, double-click it. We're almost done, but there are a few more things I'd like to show you. Bring the Summary Statistics window to the front by clicking it here. Let's take a quick look at the buttons on the bottom left of the window. You'll see these buttons on many windows, so it's important to know how to use them. The Help button opens context-sensitive help for this window. Anytime you're not sure how to fill in the fields on a window, just use this Help button. This red X clears your selections. This Restore button remembers your last settings after you click Run. Clicking it will restore the fields. This Pin button is in the upright position by default. This pins the window open so that it doesn't close when you run the analysis, and you can reopen it by clicking it over here. That's the end of the short introduction, but remember, you can find all our videos by selecting Help, Tutorial Videos.